So every morning I find Shelly right here. As you can see, we have this spot marked. That's because she's always in the same spot, never different. She's always looking at the sky. I have no idea what she could be looking at. Wake up, sweetie. Hey, wake up. Good morning, honey. How many bites? A few. I'll probably try that new spray later. Maybe put up the zapper. you say this has been going on? Two and a half years, two months, three weeks, and one day. <laughs> and before that, did you ever have problems sleepwalking as a child or sleeping for that matter? No, never. And what about in the family? Mom, dad, aunts, uncles, any of them have any problems sleeping? Not that I can remember. And what about the first time it happened? Did you recall anything weird or out of the ordinary? Not really. It was just after you got out of the hospital, maybe a week or so. I do remember the first time I woke up outside. That was scary. It's not something that you just forget. Mm. Make sure you take care of the backyard. We are in the first days of summer, and an elderly man is the latest victim from complications due to the Livingston virus, or LV as commonly called, making him the 26th reported case in the state. Despite its uptick in cases, authorities have maintained that contacting the disease is very rare and developing encephalitis from the virus even rarer. Most who contract the disease present only mild to no symptoms at all. Still, caution is advised, as it is unclear why some individuals develop fatal complications from the virus. What the hell are you doing? Hopefully preventing mosquitoes. Hope you kept your receipt. Got good reviews online, so. I'm telling you, pissing in the grass would do just the same. Don't want to get bit? You stay inside and you keep it cold. Gone to the bank in the AM. Be around 8 to get the rent. I'll have it. That's good. Why your wife out here so early in the morning? Exercise, I guess. Danny still is exercising? Last few days, I reckon. Standing right about there. Looking kind of odd. I tell you, come fetch her with that odd-looking camera of yours. Look, she sleepwalks. They got no medicine for that? We just don't understand why she's doing... Contagious? No. God, no. It's just... One of those head things. I got you. So do me a favor. You keep that over here. Because I ain't got no problem keeping this place empty. Got me? Yeah. I got you. That's good. Be in the AM. I don't think this needs to be in the video. It feels private. I want it in there. Here, babe, why don't you let me do it? Mm -hmm. I got it. 
this, this is just this little voice inside my head keeps telling me that this is just a waste of money. But we gotta keep trying, right? No one said that making a baby would be easy. So I have cameras all over the house. Different points of views for both inside and out. So hopefully I won't miss anything, which means you guys watching won't miss anything either. Our hope is that somebody out there will see these videos and, and maybe reach out to us. I mean, we can't be the only ones going through this. So if you're out there, please let us know. Uh, maybe we can help each other, swap some ideas, hopefully figure this thing out. Anyways, till then, this is Mary to a sleepwalker, signing off. Are you almost done? Yeah, babe, give me just a minute. Well, I'm ready. Ready? Ready for what? Oh. <laughs> ready for that. Um, maybe not share everything. So I have to sleep on top of this thing? Exactly. So when you get up, hopefully the alarm will go off, and that'll be enough to jolt you awake. Hey, at least keep you from spending the night outside for a change. Well, that would be great. No more rainwater in my mouth. Why didn't we think about this sooner? Uh, actually, we didn't. Somebody who saw the first video online suggested it. A, um, Mr. Goldfish Superfan 97. The power of social media. Well, thank you, Mr. Goldfish Superfan 97. Shelly? Thanks, Mr. Goldfish Superfan. Are you sure that's coming from me? I'm positive. I don't even think that I could recreate that. That's right. Oh! Okay, that wasn't even close. Ooh. I, I can't even do that. I heard it with my own ears. It's right there on the monitor. Put it back from when I first walked outside. Why did I turn around right there? Your guess is as good as mine. 
Is your hand okay? Yeah, it's fine. So look, I was thinking, maybe we should share this with Dr. Lopez. Why? He's just gonna say that sleepwalkers do weird shit and he's gonna overcharge us for our time. Okay, so then let's get a new doctor. No. Why not? You know I don't like him and obviously you don't like him. What are you trying to say? You having second thoughts? No, no. No, of course not. I mean, this is as much my idea as it is yours, right? I mean, if it wasn't for the cameras, we wouldn't know half of what's going on. But I need to know what happens if this doesn't work or things continue to get worse. It's gonna work. Of course it is. But what if we don't find anything? Well, then I guess we will just have plenty to show Dr. Lopez, okay? Okay, it's gonna work. <laughs> Dr. Lopez is an ass. Neurological disorders, seizures, some fertility drugs, any number of medical issues can cause sleepwalking. But I don't think that's the case here. I think we're dealing with anxiety. Pure and simple, Shelly's sleepwalking begins and ends with her husband. He almost died from LV, but I think it's Shelly who hasn't recovered. I was the second in the state to survive complications. At my worst, the doctors gave me a 10% chance. I don't think I would have made it if it wasn't for Shelly. I think we're dealing with anxiety, pure and simple, because let's look at the facts. She lost a child. She almost lost her husband. Financial trouble, the stress of the condition itself, that can take a toll on any person, and I think we're dealing with all of the above. My recommendation is that Shelly get psychiatric care, but it's important to remember that this is not a quick fix. Shelly was a month pregnant when the sleepwalking started. She lost the child on the second morning. We've been trying to get pregnant ever since. This illness has cost us our money, our house. It's cost us everything. I don't like videoing our lives, but I feel like it's the only way to somehow find a way to get back the life we should have had. Hey, Shelly, come check this out. What you got? What do you think that is, right there? What am I looking for? You don't see that person right there in the background? No, I don't see it. Come on. I mean, don't you think if someone was standing there that we would have noticed? And if that is a person, then I feel really sorry for them if they don't have something better to do. Maybe it's Mr. Kate. Mm. That's, that's actually a scary thought. Oh, okay, is that how this is going to go? From now on, we let the internet decide? Hey, apparently now, every important decision is decided on the internet. Mm -hmm. Well, good luck with that. All right, I'm going to go take a shower, and then I'm going to bed. All right. I'm gonna come set everything up after I check the email, okay? Another bullshit video. Yeah. Thank you. Next. Carol B. Carol, why don't you tie her down? Short answer, we did. I think you gotta take me to a hospital. 
And that's why we don't handcuff Shelly. But a good thought. All right. One more email here. This one's from Mary Q. My husband's been sleepwalking for the better part of three years, only meaner when he wakes up. Place padlocks on the doors, then hide the key. Let us know your results. Mary. Yes, finally. All right. I knew there had to be someone else dealing with something similar. I'd love to chat, email, phone, your call. Talk soon, we'll give this a try. It's been a week and Shelly still hasn't returned to her usual spot. I'm not sure what's changed. If you ask me, I think she's getting worse. She's blacking out during the day, like way more than usual. I've caught her doing strange things. Stranger than usual. You hear that? Static? You don't hear that? It's voices. And what are they saying? I can't make that out. It's weird, right? You gonna be okay while I go to the office? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay. Hey, sweetie, I'm home. Shelly? Baby, you awake? Shelly? Shelly? Honey? Shelly, I'm going to take that knife. Shelly, I need you to wake up. Lee. Dinner's ready. Oh, I guess I made a mess. I'm gonna get a broom. Are you okay? Well, there goes our security deposit. Like we were gonna get that back. I just don't know how I feel about listening to Mary Q's suggestion. Isn't that the whole point of this? Besides, what are you, scared of Kate? I doubt he's ever gonna find out about this. As we are literally recording this with the intent to upload it to the internet. You know those voices in my head that I'm always telling you about? Well, they're telling me that this is not a good idea. I mean, you're locking us in. It's only at night. What if there's a fire? Hey, it's not gonna be any fire. Besides, I should have did something like this a long time ago. <gasps> and if it doesn't keep you from sleepwalking, it'll keep you inside at night. Yeah, that's a win in my book. Where are you gonna put the key? That's for me to know. What if I need it? Then I'll get it. That's what I'm talking about. If something happens to you, what am I gonna do, knock down the door? If you know where it's at, doesn't that kind of defeat the whole purpose? I don't know. Look, we can drop all of this, call the doctor. You'd rather do that. Well, 
just know that the voices in my head are not happy. Yeah, that's no reason to call the doctor. As we approach the end of July, there have been two new cases of LV reported on the northern part of the parish. But this time, they're both children. Doctors are reporting that they are in stable condition. Their conditions will be closely monitored for the next 48 hours. It's delicious. Is something new? A little something I found online. Well, you did a really great job of following instructions. <laughs> oh. What's wrong? <sighs> I thought that was your favorite. Really? Because it tastes like poison. You okay? You tired? I'm always tired. I'm always asleep. Or somewhere in between. It's just... Yeah, you know, sometimes I'm daydreaming about my everyday daily routine and then bam, I wake up and I'm somewhere else doing something kooky. I mean, how do I know that I'm really sitting here with you having this meal or am I just dreaming about something that happened two weeks ago? Or maybe I'm sleepwalking right now and this is just a conversation that's, you know, a reaction. It's just my mind on autopilot just saying whatever my subconscious thinks that you want to hear life's not a dream sweetie and why do i feel like we've had this conversation before can i ask you something yeah when was the last time that you felt carefree like everything was just gonna be fine Babe, everybody's dealing with something Maybe this is our something. Yeah, well, I would trade our something for someone else's something any day. And then you might end up much worse. Or maybe we could end up finally having a kid. Or we wouldn't have lost the first one. You can't think like that. Well, I do. When was the last time that you felt carefree? Like everything was just gonna be fine. Okay. It's probably the last few days before I got sick. We went to that old burger shack. The place is a dump. <laughs> we only would go there if we were too lazy to cook. The food was so awful. <laughs> awful. What was so special about that day? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And that's what made it so great. It was the last normal day of my life. I like that one. I'm gonna steal that one. <laughs> what about you? The same day. Mm. No, you can't have that one. Seriously. No, I meant it. I'm going to steal that one. At least I know it actually happened.
Well, at least I'm back to my usual spot. Funny. Come on, you must have told me. There is no way I told you. Maybe I saw you hide it. You were in bed. And besides, you look like you were possessed. And why did you unplug the zapper? I don't know. Maybe it was bothering the demons inside me. I'm serious. Well, come on, don't be ridiculous. I want to do it again. Really? You don't find this the least bit freaky? I mean, nothing surprises me anymore. This whole thing is weird. I just want to see what would happen if we tried it again. Can you explain that? It's adapting. What's adapting? Whatever it is, it's inside my head. It's doing whatever it's got to do to get me to do what it wants. <laughs> okay, so that's your medical diagnosis? Why would you say it's happening then? I'm not a doctor. I want you to show these videos to Dr. Lopez. Finally. Some common sense. Call tomorrow. Why? Why? The LV virus is everywhere. LV is the new normal. Two weeks ago, none of my staff or researchers were carrying the virus. Today, 70% are infected. So obviously, mosquitoes aren't the only carriers. In the next year, I think it's a real possibility 99% of Western civilization could either be carrying the disease or dead from complications. So what can be done? I'm not sure anything can be done. Quarantines haven't worked. We need to identify other carriers. Examine our blood supplies. Resume research on a vaccine.
is what you're about to do, sweetie. Don't follow. I warned you. You're lucky she loves you. Shelly! Shelly! Shelly, wake up for God's sake. All my fault. Should have called the freaking doctor. I'll never forgive myself if something happens to her. She's never wandered out this far. I'm just worried she's gonna wake up and not know where the hell she's at. Or worse, she just stays asleep. Damn it! Like a dumbass, left my phone at home. Morning has to be a couple hours away. God, this is as bad as it gets. I mean, there are bodies of water everywhere. She can't swim. Wild animals and freaking mosquitoes. What happened? Do I take the night off? Where the hell have you been? Well, I was thrilled to wake up in my own bed for once. So you don't remember anything about last night? I never remember anything. What did I do? So, what you gonna do, sweetie? <sighs> Wasn't expecting that. Don't follow. I warned you. You're lucky she loves you. Shelly! Shelly! Shelly, wake up for God's sake! You could have gotten hurt out there. Yeah, and you could have died out there. I know. Call Dr. Lopez if you want. I already did. I uploaded the video earlier for him to see. I've got a video conference scheduled for later today. He's probably gonna admit me again. You don't know that. Maybe that would be best. Found the key, didn't she? Find the key? 
How the hell did she know that? Is that what happened with your husband? Do you know how he did it? Please respond. Come on. Great. Yes, but not ready to share. Talk soon. Well, the internet is full of crazy people. Do you see me? Uh, hey, Dr. Lopez. Yeah, you're a little fuzzy. Hey, let me get Shelly. Hold on. Hey, Shelly! Dr. Lopez. Is that any better? Oh, yeah. Much better. Hey, Dr. Lopez. Good to see you, Shelly. Daniel. All right, I took a look at the video, and I agree. These new symptoms are troublesome. How do you feel, Shelly? Tired? I'm always tired, but I guess there's some days are better than others. I'm gonna up the dose on your trouser, though, to give you a little bit of extra sleep. The following day, please check in with the nurse and let us know if you have any symptoms, any complications, etc. And are you still taking the fertility drugs? Yeah. I want you to stop those until we have a better understanding of what's going on. No, I can't do that. These medications in rare instances can cause sleepwalking. I'm going to insist you follow instructions. Daniel, I was curious, how did you come by the video of your wife? Uh, we've got several cameras set up around the house. For what purpose? Same as you, try to figure this thing out. I'm sorry, but how do you believe this will help? Research, try to see it from a different angle. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but do you have any medical training? You and Shelly are accountants, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's correct. Do you feel qualified to do this? No, I don't. But if we didn't, we wouldn't know about all these new symptoms. Have you considered that turning your lives into an experiment is what's caused her condition to worsen? If I'm to be honest, I think you should stop that immediately. I'm fine with that, Doc. And I can get behind that. But can you please explain to me, Dr. Lopez, how she continues to find the key? Daniel thinks I'm possessed. Pure and simple, sleepwalkers do strange things. And I haven't reviewed enough of the video or understand what Shelly's observing to make an educated guess. But I can assure you, there's a perfectly reasonable explanation for all this beyond possession. Do us all a favor. Don't put your wife under the microscope. Let's be patient here. I do believe that we are about to turn a corner with this. Make sure to follow up. Best of luck. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He is such an ass. I don't know. Maybe he's got a point. No. That's not it. This is beyond him. The problem is, I need to start listening to what's going on. What are you talking about? I need you to make sure I stay inside tonight. Listening now. Maybe this was a bad idea.
Okay, you freaks. Let's see if you're paying attention. Daniel, I think we're being attacked. Shelly? Shelly? <laughs> I haven't seen or heard from my wife in two days. No ransom, no note. I don't know who or, or why or what, but I know that multiple people broke into this house and took my wife. And I say multiple because that's the only way that I can explain what happened. But I can tell you one thing, I, whoever took her, They've been watching us for quite some time. I mean, I've got cameras covering every inch of this place. And I got nothing. Hey, detective. Wasn't expecting to see you today. Well, I thought we were due for a little face-to-face. -face. You want to go inside? I don't think so. I'm not a big fan of being recorded. Think you can turn this thing off? Um, not from out here, no. Everything's controlled from in the house. Fine. Look, we watched all your tapes, everything you uploaded, and I'm going to be honest with you, is this whole thing just some sort of hoax? I'm sorry, a, a what? A hoax. Is this a big joke to you? It's a game you're playing? 
A big cry for attention? Why would you ask me that? Because we watched the tapes. You didn't see the attackers. You didn't see the hand, uh, the guy on the roof. Yeah, we saw all of it. And it's just the fact that you have it all recorded just seems a little bit convenient. So I'm asking you one more time, is this whole thing you just trying to make fools out of our department? Somebody kidnapped my wife, detective. And I showed you the proof. You gave us proof that you're padlocking your front doors, playing hide and go seek with the keys, your wife attacking you in your little midnight stroll through the woods. So if this is not a hoax, I think you have quite a bit to explain. I'm just trying to help my wife. Yeah, so you say. But I've heard that line before, only to have to come back and arrest the same guy just a few days later. So you're saying that I did this? I'm not saying that, but I'm not dismissing it. So do yourself a favor and don't do anything crazy like go and leave town. You understand? Yeah. I understand. I'll be in touch. Your wife will return in six days. Now that Dean or my wife is. You'll understand in six days. Talk to you later. Thank you. I walked outside and forgot my keys. I would forget my head if it wasn't attached. Um, I was gonna run and get some things and I'm gonna pick up some breakfast. You want donuts? Chocolate? Please? Where have you been? Outside. So you don't remember any of this? I remember getting out of bed and going outside and then I locked myself out the house. So where are we on breakfast? Do you want me to make biscuits instead of donuts? This doesn't scare you? I'm over it. Someone took you from this house, and you don't think this is a big deal? I mean, how can I worry about something that I don't even remember? So where are we on breakfast? OK, so you don't remember anything? <laughs> but I will tell you that I feel good, like, really good. Okay, there you go. I don't see anything left to do except to close the case. Close the case? Yeah, is there any reason why we shouldn't? Someone came and took her. I mean, who's to say they won't try this again? Well, in my business, we need something called leads. So unless you have more evidence to put forward, then yeah, I'd say this case is closed. I just don't feel like this is good enough. Do you? I'm just glad that this whole thing is over. Who's to say that this won't happen again? I think it's safe to say that this will not happen again. How can you say anything if you're not doing anything? I think your wife has the right idea here, my friend. These things don't always end quite so well. I think you need to count your blessings where you have them. I think he's right, Daniel. but we will continue to look into it as much as we can manage. You satisfied? Let's 
good to have you back. Thank you. I'll be in touch. You sure you want to do this? Why? Don't you agree? I mean, it's all we ever wanted. Yeah, but I think it's time that we stop trying for things that just aren't meant for us. You know? Hey. I feel better already. It's time to let it go. All of it. Okay. You should try it. So what's the last thing you remember? Mm, losing my keys. And before that? Honestly, it's all kind of fragmented. Uh, remember eating dinner, maybe? I, I think we were watching television. Or I think we were talking to Dr. Lopez or fighting. But about what, I, I can't really remember. It's weird, huh? <laughs> I think weird seems to be our normal. I don't want that to be us anymore. <laughs> I don't think it can be that easy. Why not? Why not just let it go? You know how crazy that sounds? I mean, you realize you were just kidnapped. We don't know by who or why. We don't even know if they're coming back. Why does it matter? Because I'm scared. You don't realize it, but today is the beginning of something better. How can you say that? You'll see. still in here. After observing Shelly for three days, I can comfortably say that her sleep patterns have returned to normal. That's amazing. Uh, how is that possible? Uh, we've been dealing with this for years. She goes and spends five days out in the woods and all of a sudden it's gone? These things disappear in the same fashion they appear. But if that doesn't satisfy you, it's possible that seizing her fertility drugs have had some positive effect. Look, I, sorry, Doc. I, we're just not used to getting good news. <laughs> you two have been through enough. Go on and enjoy life. You two deserve it. If you need me, you know where to find me. Thanks. Can you believe it? <laughs> Detective? Mind if I come in? Sure. Water? No, no, I'm fine. Oh, good, you're here too. Something we can do for you, Detective. Well, I wanted to come by because we came across something I think you both will be interested in. We picked up a few kids for vandalizing a house just up the street from here, and we must have given them a pretty good scare because they admitted to everything from vandalizing that house, to cheating on tests, to vandalizing this house. Wait, what? Yep, they are the ones who knocked your cameras over. They kidnap her too? No, no. But I've been thinking about that a lot. She must have simply crawled out of the window when you weren't paying attention. Great. That finally sheds some light on that night. Case closed? 
Now, do you want to press charges? No. I'm sure those kids are in enough trouble. Yes, ma'am. They are. I think the worst is behind us. The death rate has reached what I would consider an acceptable point. In other words, the curve has flattened. What makes you say that? Math? LV is considerably more contagious than we originally thought. Most of us have it at this point and are fine. I think the best thing people can do is live their lives and accept LV is going to be a part of our lives going forward. What about a vaccine? We will be fine without a vaccine. What you doing? I'm not sleepwalking, right? Mm, not anymore, no. Well, the experiment's over. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I really think it's over. It, ever since Shelly has came back, it's like, it's like it's the old her. It, it's like the Shelly I knew even before I got sick. So I guess that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, next time I post a video, hopefully it will be of us at the beach. We did it. You ready? Absolutely. I just want to do one thing. Oh, come here. Oh, picture <laughs> time. You got it? Mm-hmm. Look at this. 10 minutes into the trip, and she's already asleep. Hey, babe, I'm going to get something to eat. You want anything? <coughs> oh, turn the air off. Ugh, the sinuses are starting to act up. That noise. That freaking noise. And I might have let it go if it wasn't for that email from Mary Q. I know it's crazy to put so much faith in someone you never met, but she's been pretty dead on. And who knows, she or maybe he, whoever the hell is a part of this, 
manipulating me. Who knows? I, but I had to see where the rabbit hole went. Hey, sweetie, I'm gonna be in the office today. <laughs> it seems when I was at home, she started acting weird again. Now things are worse, much worse. Why are you still recording me? Because you're not well. What? I haven't slept off in weeks. Why can't you be glad that this whole thing's over? Because it isn't. You know what? I think that you like me sick. Like me being dependent on you. Why can't you just accept that things are normal now and be happy for once? This isn't normal. I don't even think you're even you anymore. What? What does that even mean? It means I don't think my wife ever came home. Then who am I? I don't know. You tell me. What happened in the woods? I told you. I don't remember. remember. Yeah, I've already heard that. So how about this time you try telling me the truth? I'm not doing this with you. I need you to cut your hand. I need to see your blood. I'm leaving. You can't just leave. Yeah, why not? Because this isn't over. <laughs> this is definitely over. Shelly. <laughs> Shelly, please. Let's go! Come on, look! Shelly? So, here we are. Daniel! Daniel! Where are you? Daniel! Daniel! Where are you? Daniel! You need to untie me right now! You're right. You're right. But first things first. What happened in the woods? I told you. The truth, damn it! I want you to tell me the truth or else. Or else what? You gonna hurt me? You gonna hurt your wife? Is that what you've come to? You are not Shelly! You've lost it, sweetie. You're the sick one. Maybe we should have been recording you this whole time so that we could show the world what a sick asshole you are. Fine. 
fine. Last time I'm going to ask. Wait, wait, Danny, what are you doing? Mary said the proof is in the blood, so I'm gonna see exactly what she meant. Shelly, why are there worms inside of you? You really screwed up now. What the hell is that on the floor? Will you talk to me? You need to untie me before this gets out of hand. Out of hand? <laughs> this is pretty much out of hand. I mean, are you even Shelly anymore? Are you? What does it matter? You're not gonna believe me one way or the other. I'll believe whatever you tell me. Good. First, you need to go and take my friends and put them inside something safe. Your friends? On the floor. You're not Shelly. No! just to let them do it? Yes. But Shelly loves, loves you. And, and if something were to happen to you, it would cause her sadness. And we, we can't, can't let, let that happen. happen. It, it would make, make her less manageable. manageable. We? The, the worms? I don't, I don't want to sound like one of your movies, movies but we are not of this world. The, the term, term you use is alien. alien. Look. All I want is my wife. That's, That's not possible. possible. Why? Why is that not possible? Shelly and us are one now. If we left, millions would die. You see, Daniel, Shelly now represents millions of our people. And if she dies, it would be like wiping out an entire country. I'm sure you can understand that we cannot let that happen. May we come in? Put down the knife. You put down the gun? We both know you're not gonna hurt your wife. You don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. I'm not even sold that this is my wife. We are gonna, gonna be brutally honest here. You know way more than we'd like. Most of us would like to eliminate you. Look, I just want my wife back. Worm free. Shelly already explained that it's not possible. We are joined. That colony will be with her till the end of her days. Their children will populate another and another and so on and so on. Well, then take me instead. 
We tried, but some bodies reject us. Most of them do not survive. L LV? Yes, LV. Originally, we used mosquitoes as transport, a way for our children to populate other colonies. New bodies, warm bodies. So this is an invasion. Colonization. It's more like cohabitation. I don't care what the hell it is. I'm not going to let you get away with this. Jesus, you were supposed to be finding a cure, but instead you were making it worse. Humans. I wish we were compatible with dogs or anything else on this miserable rock. But here we are. Do the right thing. Let Shelly go. Let Shelly go. Let Shelly go. You know what? I'm taking my wife. I'm getting the hell out of here. I'll allow us to handle this. Wait. Why? Would it not be easier if you were just gone? There's no risk here. We see it differently. That's unfortunate. has expired. No need to execute this man. Besides, he was just defending himself. I'm sorry it had to be this way. You should know that Shelley is not gone. We influence, but we try not to interfere. You could have lived your whole life with her. But you had to know you couldn't just be happy. Please, don't take my wife. Goodbye. Goodbye. Finally, there's life. No, wait. I'm gonna tell everybody. Tell whomever you want. Those we have bonded with will see whatever we want them to see. A movie. Those who can't or haven't will see a crazy man. What do you want? I want to make sure you're okay. Yeah, 
what do you know about all this? I pay attention. I really like the videos that you post. I also go by Mary Q. What? She's my sister. They use her aliens to help others like us. The immune. I'm gonna let you out of here. unbelievably ridiculous. But as we've already seen, there's a small group of the population that will believe any ridiculous conspiracy theory tossed on the internet. These are the same people that wear aluminum foil hats. You can trust your government. We have your best interests at heart and we will do everything we can to protect you. And if you don't believe us, I'm confident that you will soon. 